Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made barbacoa tacos. All right, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I'm starting off with my Wajillo chili, some bay leaf that I dried myself, and then all these nice spices from Spice Tribe. We have coriander, black pepper, and some cumin. Toast it off. Now we're just gonna brew some espresso. I did an Americano here, about half a cup. Now you wanna take the garlic, the Wajillo coffee while it's hot, then go ahead and steep that just to soften up the chili before blending. Take all those toasted spices, put it in the blender, blend it up until it's all really fine, like a powder, just like this. Then you're gonna add in that liquid chili and garlic. Blend that up really fine until it's super smooth, just like this. Now, I got this chuck roll right here from the store. Originally, you wanna use some beef cheek, usually the cow's head, and that gives you a really nice barbacoa. But in this case, I'm just gonna use chuck roll because this is what's available at the store usually. And I wanna just go ahead and show you guys how to do this at home. So, seared off about high heat here. We wanna get a really nice sear on this. As you can see, we're making a nice crust. Season it well all around with salt and just repeat the process, sear it all around. Now I got my pot here lined with some banana leaf and I'm just gonna put the meat in there then toss in that puree and go ahead and rub it all over. You could add a touch of water in here just so it doesn't burn. Then you wanna cover it up with more banana leaf. If you don't have banana leaf, it's totally fine. You can use foil. Cover that up and then cook it off. Six and a half hours later. Okay, straight out of the oven, six and a half hours later. I went ahead, did low and slow here. Now you can see the meat is fully cooked. Once it shreds apart easily, that's when you know it's done. Look how nicely this pulls apart. Like I said, you wanna use something with high fat content. So you could go ahead and add this braising liquid back in there and a bit of salt, season it to taste, and then just go ahead and mix that all up. There you have barbacoa. Well, there you go. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. It's like a Sunday tradition back where I'm from in South Texas. This is a really simple recipe. Let me know what you think. And you can also find the tortillas from scratch video on my channel. I'll put a link down below. Go ahead and make your own barbacoa tacos. Really delicious if you just do like some chopped onion and cilantro, squeeze a lime, touch a crunchy salt, and then you're good to go. Maybe even make a salsa verde or salsa rojo. I have a recipe on my channel for that as well. Now, once again, thanks so much for watching. Sorry if my voice is kind of muffled. I have a cold right now. And uh, let me know if you like this format, me down here on the corner. And I will see you in the next video. So good. Thanks for watching the video. Drop a comment down below. Share your stuff on Instagram so I can reshare it. I'll see you in the next one.